We're best friends forever. Hang on for the loop. Four, three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And Jamie, we've been doing this show for a while now. We know so much about each other. Yes, we've got what the cool kids call mutual respect for one another. That is what they call it. So let's do a little <laughs> friendship test, shall we? Yes. See what we know. I'm All so right. excited. Most ah! likely to. Most likely to burst into song. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Most likely to have a pet chipmunk. I would love to have a pet chipmunk that bursts the song. That would be me. <laughs> okay, I said you. Most likely to be the first person to compliment you on your new haircut. <laughs> yeah! Most likely to get their homework done before dinner. <laughs> we both hesitantly... He raised up, Jamie. <laughs> Most likely to answer your text without emojis. Would that be you? Yeah. I assumed you used a lot of emojis. I use emojis and also gifts. Most likely to trip just walking down a hallway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Most likely to clean their plate. Yeah. <laughs> so long as it's not a loop show plate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most likely to panic about a spelling test. Oh, really? Hmm, let's spell forest again, shall oh. we? That's, that's valid. But that's also understandable. Most likely to make you laugh so hard milk comes out your nose. Ha, ha. Oh, well, thanks. That's very kind of you to say. I was just, I would rather see. <laughs> You're just thinking about who you would want to see have milk. Yeah. <laughs> shoot out their out nose. nose. <laughs> Most likely to visit Mars one day. Me, oh, thank you. I thought like I would be banished to Mars for some reason. Oh. It's like visit Mars due to banishment. No, no, they're having some sort of uh, uh, superhero thing on Mars. Oh, okay, yeah. Is that it? Oh, I'm super sad. I could have played this all day long. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Is this not the oh. challenge? Okay, so Ricky, do you think that it took time to build our friendship or were we friends instantly? Okay, I think we were friends instantly, but our friendship grew over time. Yes, that's exactly how I would have answered it. Good friendships are one of my favorite things about being alive. There is nothing better than having a good friend or being a good friend. And there's a Greek word that describes what we're talking about. Check it out. Good friends are a gift. Nothing beats a friend who likes the same things you like, or someone who makes you laugh, or someone who really listens. There's a Greek word that describes the kind of love you find in friendships. The word is philia. Philia describes deep friendship and all the good things that come with loving friends. When it feels like you found a brother from another mother or a sister from another mister, philia is a word for how friendship unites us. Whether you have a large circle of friends or a few close ones, how you love your friends matters to God. As Jesus told his friends, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you are also to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. When you have good friends, and when you are a good friend, you have overflowing philia to share. Friendship is the best thing since sliced bread. Solid bread joke. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, speaking of friends, hello. Time to toast the host with the most. <gasps> I think that might be us. Put two slices of bread in the toaster and press down. You'll have until the toast pops up to write a toast for your co-host based on the prompt we provide. When the toast is done, deliver your toast with your toast host. Oh, how fun. I love this. Cool. What's the first prompt? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, thank you. Write a toast for your co-host using only emojis. Okay. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you gotta get the toast. We were so excited to toast each other, we forgot about the, the toast. toast. <laughs> oh, I hear it working. <sighs> I got a good idea. Let's all sit in silence while we wait. Ah! ah! Okay, that kind of scared me. Before we go, yes. how many emojis did you use? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Jamie, you go first. I heart you very much. I also found a superhero emoji because I think you are a superhero to everybody that knows you. I also have a game remote control. Yeah. You're a great friend. You're great at video games. And you are a whiz on the computer as well. I have pepperoni pizza for you. I have a little four leaf clover for two reasons. I feel lucky to be your friend. Also because you love gardening. Thank you. <laughs> You're an excellent gardener. And then I have a signature baseball hat for you. You make me laugh. Aww. So here's what I have. Wow, Jamie. Here's your toast. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Jamie, this is your toast. Oh, it looks like a good piece. I have a thumbs up emoji because you do a great job, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you. You do a great job <laughs> here on the Loop Show. I did a little roller coaster for the Loop Show. Yes. Um, there's a worm emoji. Oh. But then I put a little Ghostbusters <laughs> no in front of it, saying that you're the opposite of a worm, which is to say that you're really great. Yay, thank to be you. Around. Here's your toast, Jamie. Thank you. And a toast to you. Woohoo! I think we're ready for our next prompt. Yay! Ooh, right. that prompt was very Ooh. prompt. Did you read that one? <laughs> okay, write a toast for your co-host using only words starting with letters from the front half slash back half of the alphabet. Ricky gets the front half, Jamie gets the back half. Oh, okay, so I can only use words that start with letters from A to M. I have letters N through Z. Here we go. Okay. This is really difficult. Sentences need structure that involves the other half of the alphabet. Agreed. I'm stuck with the half a bet. Hyphen words count. Okay. All right, Ricky, I have your toast. Ricky, you are, I do have those letters. Technically, I just wrote the letter R. Thank you. Not poopy. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Ricky, you are super positive. Aw. Ricky, you are very wise. And Ricky, you are, I think I know the meaning of this word, zealous? Is that like enthusiastic? Survey shows. Okay. Good, thank you. All right. Jamie. Yes. All I can deliver is how awesome it is, dude. <laughs> That's good. Then I just started writing adjectives about you. Joyful, knowledgeable, oh. good sport, which is a hyphen word, <laughs> and heart-filled. Oh, thank you. That was really good. Ghost. It came back. <laughs> it wasn't ready to go. <laughs> All right, we're ready for our next prompt. Woohoo! All right, write a toast for your co host to be delivered on the go. Hmm. Ominous. Don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess we could just start by writing the toast. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. All right, I'll grab a fresh piece of paper and a fresh piece of bread. Oh, wait, yes. I always forget about making the toast toast. This is my favorite part of the Loot Show. I can use all the letters of the alphabet for this one. Now I need to think of the words to say. I've never been so stressed out. Well, okay. I say I've never been so stressed out by toast before, but whenever you're standing there waiting, it is very stressful. All right, we've got our road toast. Now all we have to do is hit the road. We're gonna need these. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about friends. I recently moved to a new state and I realized I don't really have friends here. I have to make new friends. And maybe that's where you're at today. Maybe you've moved to a new state or a new city or a new school, or you just find yourself thinking, I need some new friends. Something that's helped me is finding something you relate to with the other person. So maybe if we both love video games, let's talk about video games, or I'll invite you to come over and play video games. Or maybe we both love to be outside. I love to be outside. Then I can invite somebody to come check out the neighborhood park with me. It can be as simple as that. And oftentimes 
When we're asking somebody to be our friend, they're usually looking for a friend too. What are some good qualities we look for in friends? You want a friend that's thoughtful, that's kind and loving and cares about you. You want a friend that's encouraging, that builds you up, not tears you down. And we want a friend that's trustworthy, somebody that we can rely on. We can tell them when we're having a bad day. And if we're looking for those qualities in friends, we should have those qualities as friends too. We should be thoughtful. We should be kind and loving. We should be encouraging. We should be trustworthy. And even if your friends don't love Jesus, that's a good opportunity for us to show them what it looks like to be a part of the family of God and to love others well. Show people they matter with your words and your actions. Love your friends like God loves you and put others first. All right, we wrote our toast and now we are ready to give them on the go. Ready, here okay. we go. One, two, three, kick off. Oh, what's ah! that? Uh, to ah! be, should like one of us be like. Yes. Ah! All okay. right. There we go. Ricky, Yay! We are here to honor you today for being such an amazing friend, a funny co host, and an awesome guy all around. Thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. The Loopsters love you. Thank you, Jamie. Yes. We're here to toast you for sharing your talents. <laughs> you are an incredible co host. Oh, thank you. And you bring so much joy and laughter ah! to the Loop Show. Ah, <laughs> I appreciate everything you bring. Oh, thank and you. You make every challenge worth <laughs> playing. And I love that you share your talents with this ministry. Oh, thank you. That was a really good toast. I feel like I should toast you for what a good toaster you are. All right, I think we just have to live on this bike because I'm too afraid to stop. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Stopping. E left foot down. Uh, ah. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness! Okay. <laughs> okay, we made it off the bike. There's only one thing left to do. A toast to you, Jamie. Toast! I can toast! Mmm, sweaty. So imagine that you are about to move away and you are going to have one last meal with your best and closest friends in the world. What would you say to them? It would probably be pretty important, right? Well, in the Bible, we get this story about how Jesus had his final meal with his best and closest friends, the 12 disciples. You see, Jesus was about to go and die for the sins of the world, but the disciples, they didn't know that. So when they were together, Jesus chose his words carefully. And he said this to them in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. The most important thing that Jesus wanted his followers to know was to put love first. There's another Greek word that's used in the Bible and it's the word philia. And it's a Greek word that means friendship. But it's not just any kind of friendship, it's the deepest, best, and closest friends that you will ever have. And what Jesus is telling his followers to do is to make friends with the world. Don't keep that love to yourself, but to share it with other people. Maybe for you, what that looks like is you just smiling down the hallway at other students as you pass them by. Or maybe it's sitting down with a student who normally sits by himself at lunch. Or maybe it's just complimenting another student on his or her outfit because it looks good. But make friends. We want to put love first in both our words and our actions. Doing this show with such a good friend is one of my favorite things. Me too, and I loved getting to give you some toasts and show you some honor. Same here. What about you? What do you do to show your friends that you care? Are you thoughtful? Trustworthy? Encouraging? Those are just some of the ways that you can be a loving friend. Find some ways to show your friends that they matter. Maybe give them a toast or two. Climb on your friendship bike and... Enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride! Do you have any more of that toast? Oh, plenty of it. Mm. If you like this challenge, you will love our phone a friend challenge. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. We phoned some friends and they were very confused. Yeah, you have to check it out. It's super, super silly. And if you haven't yet, leave us a comment. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or subscribe or like. Yeah, those are all really great things you can do with your friends.